we're going to test this transformer out. Now, I don't think this writing has anything, it has much to do with it. Let me see what it says. It says 120 volts, 50, 60 cycles. 6.3 volts and it says lamp so that's what this switch is for or this uh, transformer is for okay now this side let me get my magnifying light down here Don't know if you're going to be able to see this in there. Let's. Okay. Not much of anything except some identification for you or uh, you will. use copper wire only but that's all it says okay so we're gonna we're gonna assume that these two well, that there's a little marking on here what does this say it says one and two I don't really want to hook juice up to it yet because I don't know. Well, of course, I don't suppose it'll matter much. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Heavy duty pilot. Well, there's no doubt that it's going to do what I want it to do. Well, let's ohm it out. See that? I think 200 ohms is going to be plenty for this. Alright. Well, we got nothing. Let's go up, up higher. There we go. Point zero zero. That would be nothing. So we got here. Point zero zero. Nothing. All right. Let's try here to here. Not 
Manhattan. <sighs> well, I can't believe both sides of these are open. something here now. Looks like 10 ohms. Now let's try this. None. Well, interesting. Ready to let out some magic smoke. This is my test wire here. Let's get ready. Let's go to volts. Let's go to 20 volts. Ah, here's the rub. It's got to be, it's not, it's not rectified, can't be. So let's go to 20 volts AC. Or we'll smoke something that I don't, uh, don't want smoked. Caddy Wampus here. Okay, there's one. And there's the other. Ready for the smoke test? Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, that's smoke. There's a smoke. Okay, looks like we go to plan B. I'll have to find some 120 volt bulbs for those, <laughs> for those jewel lights. Oh, you win some, you lose some. Well, let's see if we can figure out what makes this thing tick.
probably got to take these off. the nerve of them saying this is heavy duty. If it was heavy duty it would survive the smoke test. There we go. Well, obviously one end was a input, one end was the output. Hmm. Can't see anything, but something sure popped, didn't it? Smaller winding down here, larger one up there. Mm, don't know why it's that's that way. Well, man, there's one over here. Looks like this is hooked from top to bottom. Unless this isn't connected to anything. Yeah, it's not connected to anything. So these two are connected here. There's the black. You see it's kind of black here. It's interesting how they got this thing put together. There's no apparent way to get it apart, so they must they must have something that slips this thing in. A machine of some sort. Huh. Oh well. Well, today you learned what not to do. Myself, I probably won't remember it because I'll probably do something stupid like that again. I, I just don't know which, I still don't know which one is the primary. It kind of looks like this one are the primary uh, primary input because the, the larger coil, the smaller coil should be primary in. Hmm. <sighs> Not quite sure. Alright, well, we'll see what we can do. So I guess we'll shut it off for today. We've done enough damage. And uh, 
Next time we're going to start wiring everything up. I just needed to see what that, how that switch was, was laid out. So we're good to go. Hopefully that's our last uh, magic smoke test. So with that, thanks to all the subscribers. Subscribe, comment, share. There's something else. Surprise, subscribe, comment, share. Oh, like. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. I hate to say goodbye. You know the reason why I've dreaded this moment all.